Well, day two on our West Virginia trip, and we actually woke up this morning in Virginia. We may be lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think today we'll exit the George Washington National Forest and get to the Mon <laughs> and get to the Monongahela. 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 I'm going to say that wrong a thousand times, so yeah. just just know that. But that's where we're going to spend most of the time today and tomorrow. We're glad you're with us, and we're going to drink some coffee and get to rolling towards a dirt road. So what happened when you got out to get that shot? It was a snake right there. As you put your foot down? As I put my foot down, which scared the crap out of me. This is Back Creek Mountain here, and I had high hopes for this road. Not only a gravel road and a one-track road, but it also has some four-wheel only sections that go completely down the valley and back over to a main road. And it was gonna be our back road way to get to the next location. So now we're gonna find a little place to sit for a few minutes and figure out plan B. Plan B? Lake Muma, eight miles up to the Butler Mountain Preserve. It's a meandering kind of day. This, this type of uh, exploration reminds me of what my grandparents used to do. And Lynn likes to do it too, Sunday driving. It's, it's Sunday driving on a Tuesday, but you can spend the night where you end up. Maggie's got to get in the water. What do you think? Beautiful lake, isn't it? It is. It's awesome for the kayaks. Yeah. Not a kayak trip, though, is it? No.
backtrack to get back to where we just were, but we're going into West Virginia now. And then we're gonna find us a little dirt road to head that direction. <laughs> Another dirt road? Yeah, this one goes all the way over the ridge and it actually is the border between Virginia and West Virginia. But we are actually in West Virginia now, right? We are. Okay. Well, I may be and you may be in Virginia. Oh, okay. <laughs> it literally That'd be weird. skirts the border all the way up. Okay, awesome. <laughs> it's not, this is not a dirt road. <laughs> this is just grass, isn't it? It is. We're going to stop and get some lunch. Let's do. Back out over there, that's the road we've been on to climb this mountain. And we have a long ways left to go. In fact, I doubt we'll get off of this mountain uh, tonight. We'll find a place similar to this to spend the night. What a wonderful trip. Dirt roads. <laughs> Gotta love them. So remember the steak we made last night? Lynn has turned that into a steak sandwich. Our son-in-law's mom, Nana B, made some homemade bread and sent it to us. We call her Nana B because that's what the grandkids call her, so <laughs> her name's really Barbie. <laughs> Looks like there's a grave site here. Here it comes. <laughs> so this is going to be a little tricky as we do a three-point turn, but... Been about 15 miles across this mountain and the road is getting more fun <laughs> a little rockier a little more narrow and a little more washed out my kind of dirt road we found one we did we found a freaking long dirt road it has been a long one i like it This looks the same, but we turned off on another dirt road. We're going to scrape this. So we decided that wasn't the right place. Uh, Low hanging limbs and stuff. We didn't want to. Yeah, it would have been on the east side of the mountain too. So we're going to get a view. Let's get a view that has a view of the sunset. That sounds good. All right. Keep on going. We're out here trying to decide if we can get level. And there is a skull right here. And here's its teeth. That's some huge ass teeth. It does. Wow. 
Might have a horn in there. Probably. It's gone. Look at that big pop one. Whatever it was, there's something big. So if something that big was taken down, <laughs> it was something really big that took it down. We have found a spot. We're in a little clearing. The sun will set right over that mountainside there. Our only issue right now is trying to get level enough to sleep comfortably tonight. passed up a bunch of locations as we made it to this spot. You always wonder, should we have stayed at the other one? Should we have stayed at the one before that? Or the one before that? Or even the one that we stopped at for lunch? But I think we did well, don't you? Yeah. I, I think, think we pushed ourselves a little bit further and I think it worked out good. You're looking for a long range dirt road to ride on on the east coast. I'm not sure there's a longer one than this one on this Monongahela border between this and the George Washington National Forest. Perfect spot. We thought it was going to storm, but it looks like it went around the mountain, and that's a good thing. Uh, no really worries right now, I don't think. Blue skies over that way. We have absolutely no signal whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice just sitting out here enjoying no worries. the breeze and the... I'm a sexy fanny pack. <laughs> That's the stuff right up. there. It's not even zipped up. <laughs> Makes it even sexier. <laughs> <laughs> you zip me up, baby. Oh, wow. Thank you, honey. Uh, crazy. You gotta love me. Yeah, I do, gotta love you. Good thing I do. Oh, no. Well, here's a little oh, no. centipede. So we were joking about my uh, sexy fanny pack, but we've seen bear scat as we were driving today. So yeah, we did a couple of times. I came with bear spray this time, and that's really the first time we've needed it since we were in, in Alaska. Alaska. Yeah. We keep it in the van in case two-legged bears want to stick their head in the window, <laughs> but you know, it's good to have it on trails like this because we're a long ways away from civilization. Beautiful trail though. It is. It's a little fair, fire cut road. Like they've like graded it or something. Yeah. They have with a a big bulldozer. It's one way to carry firewood. <laughs> Are you foraging for wood? coming out time to start a fire it is so what was your favorite thing about today um i guess just the peacefulness of just riding on dirt roads and just not having a destination planned and just meandering mm -hmm. and stopping by the lake and 
I agree. All the wildflowers were awesome. and The van did great too, didn't it? It did. It, it did. Was, it was pretty close to perfect. And, you know, we'd be the first to say we're not overlanding. We're not going to be doing rock crawling in this van. And anybody shows themselves doing that, I would point them towards Chris Schantz and uh, Venture Forward. You know, he's got Orangey, which is a Jeep that's set up for overlanding. And it's times I'm envious of that, but he also has a, a Revel just like ours. And um, they're very quick to point out that they use the Revel to get to places that a lot of people can't, but then they go off-roading and overlanding with their Jeep. And I can see that. Yeah. It, it does well getting us to places that 90% of the people can't get to. I don't see us doing that 10% right now, especially with you. Yeah. I'm not there were a few times to today you put your foot down. Well, there was a few roads you wanted to go on that I didn't feel like. One of them we would have scratched up the van pretty good. Yeah, I didn't really want to scratch the van. And the other ones, it was a little bit of a rut. Yeah. Uh, so, a little ruddy. I'll get there, but. You'll get there. I know you will. I know how you work, me. and I'm easing you into it, and that's fine. That's the secret to being a successful husband is, you know, putting the things out there enough to where after a while she thinks it was her idea. <laughs> <laughs> we had a wonderful walk with Maggie. It is starting to rain a little bit right now, but I think it's just going to pass over. We've missed the storm, hopefully, and we're going to cook something on the griddle tonight. What would that be? Cajun chicken tacos. So I have a way of blocking the wind with these guys right here. And they're just dough scrapers for bread makers, but they work really, really well. So tonight on the griddle, we're going to have spicy Cajun chicken tacos. We have four and a half teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, one and a half teaspoons of garlic, and some salt and pepper. The griddle is steaming scorching hot with these wind protectors. We just use chicken tenders so we wouldn't have to cut up chicken breasts. That works really well when you're out here on the road like this. The griddle is really, really hot smells awesome. We'll let these cook for about two and a half minutes on the first side, then we're going to flip them over and we'll do the other side and these will be just about ready. Man, they're smelling good too. Wow. It's always good to be cooking something that when your wife comes out and looks at it, she goes, yum. So we moved the chicken over to the cool side of the griddle, just like we did last night with the vegetables. We put the tortillas down just so they can get a little warm and pliable. Let's take the chicken off. So we have the chicken that's cooked and marinated in Cajun sauces. We have tortillas. We have salsa, sour cream, Mexican Monterey Jack cheese, some chips, lettuce, and tomato. And that's what's going to go in these tacos. Let's see how they turn out. Top of the mountain, side of the world by yourself, Cajun chicken tacos. Man. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. Ma'am, mm. You have Cajun all over. Let me have me a, yeah. let me have me a Owen wiper here. Wow, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I don't know how you did that, but you did. You can't take me anywhere. Remember, when you cook, even if it's on the side of a mountain out in the middle of nowhere, nobody's watching. Do your happy dance. That's what eating's all about. 
do your happy dance, enjoy what you cook, and cook what you enjoy. Till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>